Good morning, boys and girls. So I know we got some sad news that sadly we're not going to be able to go back to school in person this year, but we're still going to have fun and we're still going to do a lot of learning. I'm going to keep doing these videos and sending work home for you guys to do. And I've even gotten cards from some of you. I've gotten a video chat with some of you, and I hope we can continue to do those fun things and have some other fun things later on this year. Today, since I was kind of waiting to see if we were going to be able to go back to school or not, and we're not, unfortunately, so we're going to continue our letter of the week. Back in March when we were still at school, the last letter that we learned about was W. So think about what comes after W. Q-R-S-T-U-V-W-X. So we're going to learn about X today. It's not too tricky to draw, but it's kind of a tricky sound. So first I'm going to show you how to draw it. I have my little dashed lines up here like we used to practice in our notebooks. So you can have a grown-up draw that for you like I did on my board here. And remember first, I want you to try to trace it. So we're going to do those diagonal lines down this way and down the other way. And the lowercase x is the same way. Down this way and down the other way. Remember, diagonal means it's not straight up and down. It's not straight sideways. It's kind of slanted like a hill or a slide. Now, that's not too tricky for you. When you're done tracing it, you can try to draw it all by yourself. Now, the X makes kind of a tricky sound. It sounds like the K sound next to the S sound. So when we put those two sounds together, it makes the S sound, or the X sound. So why don't you try that with me? X, X, X. All right, now X, there's not a lot of words that start with X. There's a few like X-ray, which says the whole letter X sound, or xylophone, which actually starts with a Z sound, even though it's spelled with an X. Most of the time, the letter X is at the end of a word or in the middle of the word. So I'm gonna write down a few for you and you can try to think of some more at home. There's some words like, Six, there's an X at the end there, or box has an X at the end, or this one, exit, exit has an X in the middle. So try to think of some more words with X at home. Practice drawing your X's. You can practice tracing them and drawing them all on your own, okay? So... We all, I also have a few other things for you to do besides your letter X. Each day, this week and next week, I'm going to give you a new worksheet to do about the weather. We're going to start learning about weather. I know we've had some interesting weather lately. It's spring, but we've even had some winter type weather lately. So the first worksheet I want you to work on from your weather worksheets is this one. It's the sunny worksheet. So see all these dotted lines, just like we trace our letters with the dotted lines? You can trace the dotted lines for the sun. It says trace, color, and write. So trace your sun, color it in, think about what color the sun might be, and then you can practice writing the word on the bottom which says sunny. What do you think that starts with? Sunny starts with an S. So trace, color, and write your sunny paper. Oh, Silly Hero is coming under the blanket. She's being a little camera shy, I guess, but she still wants to be involved. The other projects I have, I'm going to send a lot of things home for you to work on the next couple weeks. So you can do them other days if you want. But the assign other assignments I have for today are these cool puzzles that you can print and do at your house. I know some of you might have puzzles at your house, and if you do, keep working on them. Because when we're at school, we usually do puzzles every day. They're so good for your brain. But these are some that you can print off the computer and do at home, even if you don't have other puzzles at home. So I want you to color it. Oh gosh, there she goes. Color it, cut it in strips, follow those lines, or have a grown-up help you. Mix it all up, and then try to put the puzzle back in order. This one actually counts backwards. So you put them in backwards number order, five, four, three, two, one, and then you're done with your puzzle. Another one here counts from zero all the way to 10. So again, color it, cut them apart, all those strips, cut the lines apart, mix it up, 
and then you can put your puzzle back together again. So you can do your sunny worksheet, your X practicing, your puzzles. And one more thing I want to show you that you can do every single day if you want to. Here's some dressing dolls and there's lots of other papers that go with it. There's a boy and a girl and you can dress them up for the weather. So you might have to have a grown up help you cut these things out because there's a lot of things to cut out. But there's lots of different clothes for all the different seasons and all the different weather. Spring, summer, fall, winter. And every day when you wake up, you can think about what the weather is and dress your dolls in those clothes. Or you can think about what the weather might be like in a different season. Okay, so those are some things for you to work on today. And I will have another video for you tomorrow. And we're going to keep learning about the weather, okay? So I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.